If you got decapitated, would you stay aware of what's going on, or would everything just shut down instantly the moment the blade sliced through your neck? Back in the day, especially in 18th century France, decapitations were pretty much their signature move. And people back then had the same question we're asking now. So, naturally, they decided to run some experiments. One of the most famous stories involves Antoine Lavoisier, a scientist sentenced to death, who decided to use his execution for one final experiment in the name of science. Honestly, this guy was a different breed of dedicated. Imagine standing in front of the guillotine and thinking, wait, let me test something real quick. But that's exactly what he did. Just before his execution, he told his assistant he'd try to blink as many times as possible after his head was chopped off. When the blade came down, his assistant later reported that Lavoisier blinked for about 15 seconds. That alone makes it seem obvious. If your head gets cut off, you stay conscious for a few seconds. But even with this, doctors back then weren't convinced. They claimed the blinking was just a muscle reflex and didn't mean he was actually aware. But then, in 1905, Dr. Gabriel Borieu observed something even creepier. After watching an execution, he called out the condemned man's name right after the beheading. To his shock, the decapitated head opened its eyes and actually turned to look at him. Blinking could still be explained away as a reflex, but a severed head responding to its name and making eye contact. If that's not consciousness, then what is?